Let me start here by showing you all the different tools you need, including a couple of variety of mounts. I'm gonna show you one of the easiest mounts throughout the process of this video. So hopefully you could watch the whole video, see if it's something you could handle. So obviously the very first thing you need is a TV mount. And this one basically has an option to tilt your TV a little bit, but it's pretty flush against the wall. This is what I need and what I'm gonna use for this video. And then there is the type of full motion TV mounts. This one actually extends away from the wall. So you could turn your TV number of different ways. And I'm gonna mount this and I'll make a separate video about this later. Right now I'm gonna show you the flush mount. And if you get the same mount, the tilting mount that I showed you in the beginning, you could follow step by step because this is the one I'm gonna install the TV on. Now let me show you some of the tools you need. So you need a tape measure here. This is gonna help you kind of center your TV on the wall and then decide how far from the ground you're gonna put your TV. These two came with the TV mount. So this is just an Allen wrench, but if you don't have a TV mount that came with this, you most likely need this to tighten the screws. This is just a level here. You could use a different one if you like. You do need a pencil. You do need a Phillips screwdriver here, not a flathead, a Phillips screwdriver. And this is a big one here. You need a uh, stud finder because most likely you're going to be mounting on a wall that has wooden studs. It does also work on concrete, solid concrete, but in this case, I'm gonna show you a, a wood stud here. And you also need a drill here and you need a wood drill bit. So I'll put everything in the description below too so you could find it if you don't have these already. Now, if you're just on drywall, this is not going to work. This needs the support of wood or concrete. So when the TV mounts on it, it's gonna handle the weight. And just about any construction is gonna have every 16 inches a stud. And I'm gonna show you how to find it with the stud finder. And then our mount is gonna go right on that. Now, the very first thing I need to do is I need to put these TV brackets on the back of the TV. So we're not doing anything with the wall. So I've laid out my TV just on a soft rug downstairs, and then I need to make sure I choose the right screw. Now, this completely depends on what kind of TV you have, but they gave you a whole bunch of different screw sizes. The one that worked out for me was this M6 12 millimeter. So it was B4, the package was labeled B4, and there was four of them, but all these had four different ones. So you need to figure out which one of these you need. And then they have these things called spacers. So if you need your bracket a little bit further from the wall, they recommend you use these spacers here and then throw the screw into the spacer and then into the TV through the bracket. But in my case, I, I'll show you downstairs, I basically just went through using this with a washer. So I took a washer, I put this into it, the M6 washer into this, went into one of these holes, the top, the second to top, and then I put these two, and then I did the same thing with these. I didn't use spacers, but these are optional for you if you need a little bit more separation. And it does say, do not use a drill here, so do not put one of these on your drill and drill it in. You do need to use a Phillips screwdriver here because if you press too tight, you can hurt your TV screen. So make sure you don't apply a lot of pressure here and the spacers, you could see, they go on the bottom here if you were to create that kind of spacing. Again, in my case, I just used a screw, M6, M6 washer, and then put this into my TV. Pretty straightforward. And I put this end, the ribbon was hanging from the bottom, and this area here with a bunch of holes, that shows up on top. So make sure that's what you do. This area should be on top of your TV, and then this area, should be on the bottom of your TV. Now the TV's done, the next step is you need the wall plate. This is what's gonna go on the wall and it has all these holes to basically let you space out these mounts between the different studs, right? So let's say there's a stud here, then every 16 inch from the center of this stud to the center of this stud is typically 16 inches, and then you would measure. Now I'll show you exactly how to find your stud with the stud finder, and again, I'm going on a wood wall, not a concrete wall, 
So they do have a different step if you're using concrete, which I can't show you since I don't have concrete, but most cases it's gonna be a wooden stud. So I'm gonna bring this up here and assemble this piece. Then we'll go downstairs and start putting it on the wall. And this is the mount that is gonna go into the wa wall here, into the stud. So they're just gonna slide together like this and then I just need to use these type of screws for these four holes, which are right here, number four. So I'm gonna screw these in here. All right, this is all set to go. Let's go mount this on the wall. So this part is kind of marking where our TV is going to go on the wall. And if you use the same mount I'm using, they come with these templates. So instead of holding the actual mount, you could just hold this up and mark any hole that you need here. So I have four screws I need to mark and you need a pencil to do those marks. And then you also need a stud finder because the screws need to go in the middle of the wooden stud behind your drywall. They can't just go on drywall. Drywall can't support that kind of weight. The stud finder will find the wood stud and studs from a center of one stud to the center of the next stud is exactly 16 inches in almost all cases for houses in some commercial areas is 24 inches. And I measured this wall here, and this point right here is the center of this wall. So I want the center of the TV to be here. So this is gonna be the center of my wall. So if you have a wall like this that you wanna center exactly, just measure from one end to the other end or measure the whole wall and divide in two so you could figure out exactly where your center point is. In my case, it was exactly lining up with here, 46 inch that way, 46 inch to the other wall. So now what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stud finder here. And if you use the same one I have, it has this setting called exact. So let me show you that. So right here, if you press this option right here, this gives you your exact setting. It has a sensor on the back and then you just kind of drag it. And right there, right here is the center of my stud. So I could mark this as the center of my stud. Now, every 16 inches from that center is gonna be another one. Now, I'm not gonna measure that, but if I move this over 16 inches, right here, it should beep again. So I'm gonna have a stud every 16 inches. And I only need two studs. So I know one's about here. So I'm gonna hopefully get one around here and at the end, and it'll center my TV perfectly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark my stud. I'll mark one right over here. This is the center. So this is gonna be a stud here, right behind here. So if I was to measure, the 16 inches landed another stud here and then another one here, but I'm gonna use this to mark all three so I kind of have an idea where my studs are. And I'm marking just the center of them. Some stud finders show you the edge. A stud is basically an inch and a half this way so they'll show you the edge, but I only care about the center. I wanna get my screw right in the center of that stud. Now, I'm gonna take my template here and I'm gonna mark where my holes are going to go. So before I do that though, I could decide how high from the ground this is going to be. This tells you exactly. 107 centimeters or 42 inches from the ground to the center of the TV. So if this is gonna go right in the middle and my TV center is here, I could measure from here to the ground to make sure I'm 40, 42 inches here. Let's see, 42 inches off the ground. And in this case, it's 42 inches is about here, which is not gonna work out because I'm putting this in uh, like a studio area. So I'm gonna want it a little bit higher, but you can kind of use your judgment because if you're sitting down watching TV, center of the TV at 42 inches is the recommended height. Now here you wanna mark where you're going to drill. So I'm using the template here and this is the two studs here. So I would mark this and this. And then I'll show you, I'll use a level here with the actual bracket and then I mark the other one. So I'm gonna mark this and this hole right here for my drill bit. And then I'll show you what to do next. Now this little level came with the mount that we bought. So I'm gonna use it here so I could take my mounts place it where I want the holes to be, like so here and here, but then I'll place this over here to make sure I'm level. Just make sure this is right in the center here. So I'm gonna raise this up a little bit, make sure it's level. There we go, that's level. And then I could mark the other holes here in the middle. So I'll put one here, 
and then put one over here. So if you use the same mount I do, this is the drill bit size that I'm going to use. So I need to actually pre-drill holes here and then it'll make it a lot easier to put our screws into it. And when you pre-drill and it goes in very easily, that means you're most likely you're just going through the drywall and you missed a stud. So it actually takes a little bit of pressure when you're going into the wooden stud rather than the drywall. I just need a washer here and this big screw. You could use a screwdriver or you could use a socket wrench here to get this in there. So I'm going to start with a screwdriver and I'm going to go ahead and grab my bracket over here and let me wipe it down and we basically just want to get it where we want so I think I had it over here just get these into it like this looks like the screwdriver here is not quite gonna cut it for me it's a little bit hard to get in so I'm gonna grab a half inch socket wrench here because this has the shape of a socket wrench and it's recommended to use that if you can't use a Phillips head here and I got myself a half inch socket wrench so this should make the process a bit easier here now I'm gonna check the level one more time make sure I stayed level during this whole process if I need to come down a little bit or not, it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one too. Again, make sure, I'm just testing this out, but make sure if you're coming three holes this way to use this hole and then to use this hole. But I'm just trying this for the first time to see if it actually balances out. But it is recommended that you kind of place the holes kind of evenly from one side to another side. And let me go ahead and take care of the last two screws here, washer. Put the screw in there, get it in a little bit by my, using my hands, and then let's go ahead and wrench it. All right, this should hold a whole bunch of weight now. It's not budging whatsoever, so I'm gonna get the TV down here now. And here's what the mount looks like here before I get the TV on it. This should be a two-person operation. I'm gonna attempt to do this by myself. But basically the hooks that we put on there hook on top first. So let me see if I could get it here. Nope. Nope. Oh, it worked. And then these bottom hooks, this is the release for them, but they hook in and then the TV tilts like this. So you could lock the Allen wrench if you don't want it to tilt, but it's on there pretty good now. Now those little straps that help you unmount the TV, I hid mine below here and I had an electrician install that outlet for me. So that's why you don't see any cables running to the power supply. So you could kind of do the same thing or those brackets, if you get them a little bit higher on the back of your TV, that strap doesn't hang on the very bottom, okay? Be hidden more on the back of your TV. Let me know in the comment section if you thought this was more difficult than you anticipated or less difficult. I love to hear your feedback and I'm going to make a video on the swivel mount. So if you want to see how that works, it's pretty much the same steps, but that one allows you to do a lot more with moving your TV around if that's what you want to do. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you on the next video.